สวัสดีค่ะ If you are new to learning Thai language or actually any languages at all, สวัสดีค่ะ If you are new to learning Thai languages, if you are new to learning Thai language, the most important thing when you are new to learning Thai language, the most important thing that you need to learn is to learn as much vocabulary as possible, especially the one that's commonly used. And if you use it often, it becomes your active vocabulary. The vocabulary that you already know but you hardly use it is called passive vocabulary. Okay, when you are new, focus on building active vocabulary uh, by learning the commonly used vocab. You can think of something that you need to say daily or say it often or you need it to express yourself and learn all those key vocabulary. Don't try to memorize it because I believe memorizing will only keep the information in a short term memory. Try to come up with something creative, you know, the way, uh, see how, the, how it sounds to you. Does it sound familiar, sound like something you already know? Um, here are my some of my techniques to help you learn Thai vocabulary better. For example, you learn a new word like gin. Gin is eat. If you just remember gin is eat, it's not useful to you. Most likely, you will forget it soon. Think of gin as a word that you use to express yourself. Or, for example, gin cow eat rice. Thai people eat rice in most meal, so. We use it as a generic term for eat as well, like eat anything. We just say, King Kao Mai, do you want to eat? Uh, or basically, we're asking, do you want to eat rice? But actually, it doesn't have to be rice, it could be anything else. King Kao Mai. Um, and then, let's say you like Tom Yam Gung, for example. You like Tom Yam Gung. I hope you know what is Tom Yam Gung. Tom Yam Gung is a spicy and sour shrimp soup. Okay, it's a famous dish in Thailand. Let's say you like Tom Yam Gung. If you remember the word chop is like, you can form a sentence. Chan chop gin Tom Yam Gung. Or if you're a male speaker, you can say Pom chop, Pom chop gin Tom Yam Gung. So when you form a sentence with the word you know, it lasts longer in your memory because it's functional. You are able to immediately use it to express yourself. Pom chop Tom Yam Gung. And you can also use it to ask people questions. Kun chop gin tom yam gung mai? Kun chop gin tom yam gung mai? Yeah, that's a, the next technique that I would like to advise you is to think of a situation that you will need to use them. Let's say you learn the word gi mong lao. What time is it gi mong lao? Then you have to think which occasion are you going to use gi mong lao? What time is it? Or maybe you're at a bus stop, you didn't bring a wash with you. Um, but nowadays, you can check your mobile phone. But you can use it to strike a conversation with a stranger if you want to. Kimong uh, Um What time is it? Kimong Um Relate the word. The next thing is to relate the word to the sound you're already familiar with. Um, let's say you learn a new word like... Um, Paktong. <laughs> it sounds like you already know it in English. Paktong. Paktong means mean pumpkin in Thai. So something like that, like, you know, a bit funny, like maybe sound rude, but in Thai it's not rude, okay? So Paktong is pumpkin. Um, like a lot of Thai ladies has a name Pon. Pon. <laughs> uh, pon means blessing in Thai. Yeah. Call Pon. Like you go to temple to call Pon. Uh, means you're asking for blessing. <laughs> you go and pay respect to the Buddha and ask for blessing. Yeah, something like that. Make it funny, make it lively, make it interesting. Uh, add personal stories and emotions to the word you learn. Especially Thai word like, let me think. The word hiu. Hiu. If you just say hiu is hungry, you can't remember it. But if you think of hiu, your lips look like fish heel you know like a goldfish ready to eat a little bit open heel and when you full already your lips close say im im things like this will help you remember the word better 
So im is full, Hugh is hungry. Yeah. Um, and if there are many words to learn, you can't always try to be creative at all time. And you always hear new words and you want to take note of it before you relate it to something you already know. One way is to just note them down on your phone, a note, notebook application or a physical notebook if you need to. Um, organize the information that you have so you don't feel overwhelmed by, oh, I hear a lot of things but I can't catch anything. It's okay, you don't always need to rely on your brain. Write it down and carry around a small a thin notebook with you or a notebook app on your phone and check it whenever you have a bit of downtime while waiting for your food, waiting for your friend to arrive, waiting for the bus to come. All this little time that you have, instead of just doing nothing and wait for time, you can use it to learn a few words. And you can't absorb or learn everything like a lot in... A short time so what you can do is to learn a few words in between your daily activities be organized and yeah anything that you learn uh, some of my students even categorize the type of vocabulary that she learns like one page is on items things another page is on verb another page is on adverb another page is on something to do with vehicles something to do with fruits something to do with shopping items or uh, heart expression um, feelings something like that then when you organize the information on the same page then when you look at them and you review them you see some common some common things in amongst these words or you basically get your mind organized okay don't just learn things as it is sometimes it's good to be a little bit more creative and organized in the form information that you have. Um, you don't need the whole day to really study Thai, but you can use a bit of downtime time that you have to learn a bit of Thai. And as long as you keep yourself progressing toward your goal, you realize that the moment you feel that, wow, um, I think my Thai is getting a lot better, you'll feel more motivated to keep doing more of it and become slowly become your habit, become a good learning habit that you will do it daily. By the time you know it, you have so many vocabulary to express yourself. You know how to form sentences. Sometimes coming up with your own sentences alone can be difficult when you are new to the language. Try to watch um, Thai movies, Thai commercials at least once a day and uh, familiarize yourself with the language. Um, you know, like there's a quote here. If you improve by 1% every day, in a year, you will have improved 365%. Think about that, okay? Um, I hope you learn something new today and get some ideas to apply to learning Thai vocabulary. In Thai vocabulary, it comes up. Comes up, okay? Learn comes up. Study a lot of vocabulary.